I wanted to start off by uh, looking at various ways of using computers to connect and um, kind of settled upon using a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, one of the reasons I really like these is they're very inexpensive. This is about a $15 item Australian, so it's uh, maybe a 7 to $10 US uh, device. Full computer, this is the W version, so it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth kind of built in. Um, I've already put a connector on there. This uh, Pi Zero doesn't typically come with the the 40 pin connector and I use something and I'll provide links for these things but something allows you to hammer these on so you don't have to do a lot of soldering or you can do some soldering. So th this is my first thing is I wanted to hook, hook things up using this. Um, there's quite a few websites that help set up the, uh, pi, uh, the um, PS3 Bluetooth to Pi uh, syncing these up so that when you do the controllers on the PS3 it can uh, control things and, and run some Python scripts on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So that was already there. It's a matter of getting this thing to run all the motors. So I did some research and found a company called Darkwater and they produce uh, this little device here. It's called the 640 uh, and it is uh, intended to be a hat that would go on to the Raspberry Pi Zero and it uh, controls six motors and two servos and you can also connect a, uh, a more proper remote control if you were to run something uh, for a long distance. This is a really good thing for this application because it, I don't care about how far away I'm going to be. I'm not going to run this excavator very far and it has lots of controls uh, with the PS3 having uh, multiple buttons and they're all uh, uh, variable uh, speed kinds of things. So. This is really good for controlling the motors and it can control six motors. And as it turns out, I have six motors on that device. So it's really good. So this thing comes and it comes with these headers and it comes with a header to hook up here for the um, uh, servos, which I'm not using. Uh, it's got six of these headers to run six of the motors and it has another one for the input. So that's a couple of things. So let me show you uh, kind of the finished bit here and how this kind of worked. I'll, I'll, I'll open up the uh, excavator and show you uh, what this thing looks like inside with the existing environment and then I'll show you what I did and how I did it to uh, get all this to work. 